become the last stand. Crossed by footprints of surviving outlanders. Alrighty guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We got some more Vigor content. This video right here is very hard for me to do. For the main reason, when I do videos, I just kind of wing things. Um, and I got a lot to talk about. So I may ramble a little bit. And uh, I'll try to be as cohesive as possible. But, you know, that's just my style. We're going to talk about some of the things Vigor can add to the game to make it even better. A lot of you guys are loving this game. And said that it's really good. It's a really good free game. Keep in, keep in mind, free game. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about some stuff. I'm not really gonna talk about the gunplay as I kill this dude right here. I'm not gonna talk about the gunplay too much. I know there's some cheaters out there and the gunplay is a little wonky. I'm not really getting into that. I want to talk about some features that they can have that I think will really help this game going forward. Especially where we're at now. The new season is supposed to drop in like 20 hours and we haven't heard a peep. There's been nothing. And they can keep, listen, Vigor can keep doing the same thing where they drop a new season and they do limited work. Yes, I'm calling them out. New cosmetics, a few new weapons, and they call it a day. One thing Vigor could really use is a proximity chat. It would be really cool to be able to talk to other players that you're, you know, you go on a match with. You go up to the safe, you know people are there to be able to talk to them. That would be fun. Proximity chat equals fun, in my opinion. Uh, the shelter. So about five, uh, five months ago, guys, under shelter, there was a whole other tab that said shelter customizations. So Vigor was planning on allowing you guys to customize your shelter, and then they took it away. Now, it tells me a couple things. One, they're not going to make money off of it. <laughs> that's, that's the main thing. It, it's not hard to get through the shelter so it's maxed out. And it looks really pretty. Like, you know, it looks really good. They did a good job with the shelter. But what are you going to customize at this point? You have everything in the shelter that you can think of. Really, you're going to try to get like 50 crowns out of someone from turn, to turn the color from blue to red for the, for the shelter? No. Mm -mm. That's why they took it out, guys. It's all about money. So, what Vigor can do, they can add a new section to your shelter area. I can't even pull up the map. I'm trying to pull up the map on my Xbox. I can't even do it. But your shelter area is plenty big enough. They should add a new area. They've done it before. They added the whole uh, bunker area that shows off all your weapons. Add a new area, let people build stuff and customize stuff. People are going to enjoy that. Give them something to grind for. you got to give players something to grind for. If you don't, it's just another PvP game. And there's plenty of them out there. Yes, Vigor, you have a unique style, and that's why people like the game. It's not because of your gunplay and the game crashing. They like it because of the survival aspect and a few things you got going for you. I'm, I'm trying to help you. But I don't work for you guys. You guys don't pay me. Um, I shouldn't have to do your job for you. Um, so add a new section to the shelter. Let them build. Let people build some stuff. Let them work towards something. Your shelter, they get through it way too quick. Um, and then it's all about, you know, uh, getting kills. I want to have the title for a thousand kills because I'm a badass. All that stuff. One cool thing, guys, other than the proximity chat, would be if other players can join your shelter. And it ain't really to show off, like, the trolls that you have on this rock over here, um, or to show off your shelter. But if other players could join your shelter, you should be able to fight each other in the shooting range. Alright, that's an idea I have, where players can join your, your shelter, and if you go to the shooting range, you guys can fight each other. I don't think this is going to happen. What I think is more, most likely to happen is uh, <clears throat> Vigor will add a new mode. They're going to add a new mode, 100%. They have shootout and elimination. They're going to add a new mode. So they could add one where it's like 1v1 or 2v2, something like that. It'd be a lot more fun fighting other um, 
fighting your friends than it would be like random people. So the bunker right here. This wasn't here, guys, uh, a few months ago. So they can add stuff to the shelter. It's not It's not that impossible for them to do that. They added this whole new bunker. It shows off all your weapons. And this is one of the main things that I want to get to in this video. They made some stuff interactable, like the guitar here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, there's an arcade game in your shelter, too, you can play. But look at all your weapons, guys. So there's a ton of weapons. And with every new season, they're adding new weapons. The only thing you guys can customize is the look of the weapon, the skin. I know, right? Like the video right now, guys. If you're still watching, you want to be able to customize your favorite weapon. You want to be able to add a scope to it, an extended mag, um, a, a short barrel, long barrel, some different stocks. People want that. I, I could do a poll right now. People will want that. Come on. I'm not. <laughs> it's all about if Vigor can make money off of it. Keep the same system you have if you want Vigor. So you add a new section to the shelter, and it's for these guns, right? And instead of upgrading your shelter, you're upgrading your guns. You need metal parts. You need chemicals. And if you get to a certain point, you can craft a new barrel. You can craft an extended mag. You can craft a scope. And it, look, you already have numbers. Look at the numbers, guys. You already have numbers. Base damage, rate of fire, uh, effective range, capacity, weight. So if you guys put a different barrel on it, maybe it helps you control the gun better, but it weighs more. Or it reduces the damage a little bit. It just takes a little work on their end to implement some of the stuff. And they can do it. They can do it. They, they, they can do it. Trust me. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I mean, they added the thing where you can save your um, your favorite, like, Lodo, right? Your favorite gun and stuff. Like, let us customize our weapons. You get Vigor, if you want to make money off your game, that's fine. I shouldn't have to tell you how to make money off this. That's not my job, right? You guys aren't paying me. But let us customize our weapons a little bit, all right? It's a good idea. <laughs> Other than just these skins. The skins are cool. But let us customize a little bit. Let us put a silencer on a pistol. Let us take the P90 and put a little extended barrel on it. But maybe it, you know, reduces the rate of fire. <clears throat> you got to give people something to work towards. One thing also, too, guys, I've been saying is to add some unique, uh, unique stuff to their item shop. Which I have seen recently, but I've also seen them selling weapon plans, which is dumb. But they should add a package that is affordable. Your $10 package at 390 crowns is not affordable. Don't be fooled, everyone that's new to the game. Four months ago, ten or five months ago, $10 would get you 680 crowns. So some freaking, you know, whatever, idiot over at the, the developers' game decided to take the $10 package from 680 crowns down to 390 I don't mean to call you an idiot, no offense, but it, it's an idiot move in my opinion. I would buy crowns if you guys gave me a package that is affordable, <laughs> okay? All right, hope that was eloquent enough. Like, hopefully that was, uh, I said it well enough there for you guys. Uh, let's make these airdrops random. Uh, most matches, guys, they're white and, uh, airdrops. I think Vigor should have like their little logo thing and it spins on every encounter and the airdrop is completely random. And if you want, you can increase the airdrop from wherever it lands. Keep the insurance. If you guys want to keep make, making money off people um, duplicating stuff, fine. Um, you know, increase the loot, fine. Keep our loot spots. That's a whole other thing. I could go on and on and on. We're already 10 minutes in the video, so I'm going to have to end this thing. But that's about it, guys. I don't know what else to say for this video other than if you like what I'm saying, drop a like, <laughs> subscribe, and um, I will see you in my next video or stream. I'm out of here. Peace.